We just gotta get far enough over to reach her head. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That's a lot of zombies. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I am an old guy gaming, and we are picking up where we left off um, in the last episode. So if you didn't see that episode, uh, basically what we've done is we've secured the Higashi Tower from the Horde, um, and we're going to continue going through this tower, uh, doing the, the Tier 5 clear quest, uh, while uh, the Horde tries to get at us from down below. Uh, so that's where we are. Uh, looks like we have a bit of an abrasion and a sprain that's just about ready to clear up. Uh, we were killed too, so we have our friend the Grim Reaper down there, which really sucks, but whatever. And so um, we just kind of cleared the this immediate area on floor three. And uh, we also set up some drop chests here uh, to put some stuff in. And I think, I guess I'm wanting to take the rest of this stuff with me. So yeah. Um, and let's proceed and see how we do here. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, once the horde does come, our, our frames don't, don't tank really bad, but you know, we'll make the best of it. So yeah, we've already cleared this room. We've, we've kind of cleared this kitchen area and, um, we're not doing a whole lot of looting because tier fives take so darn long. Uh, we'll loot some things, but you know, we're not going to loot everything. So. All right, here comes the horde, and looks like we have a customer. Uh, no, that's a, that's just a corpse, I think. Okay, so you know, part of the thing here is hopefully, I, I, I mean, I, I seriously doubt the horde can bring down the Higashi building in one go, but I mean, <laughs> I suppose it's theoretically possible, right? Or they could at least destabilize the building. So it'll be interesting uh, to see, you know, how things go. Yes, your sensors have picked up some things, exactly. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and continue on uh, clearing out the Higashi. Uh, I can already tell my frames are not as good as normal, but that is what it is. And um, yeah, uh, so like I said, we're not going to loot everything, but we'll check, you know, certain things. Uh, like, for example, we'll check for safes and that sort of thing. And... Uh, water coolers for mineral water and whatnot. Hopefully, um, hopefully the frame rate isn't uh, gonna be too distracting from all of us, you and me. But um, this is, this is probably, excuse me, this is probably my last quest uh, on this series. And then, then we're gonna wrap up Alpha 20 Vanilla, which is what this is, of course, and do, what the hell? How did he get in here? Uh, how did that happen? Oh, did did the game spawn him up here? Okay, I'm worried now. <laughs> oh no! How did that happen? Oh, I wonder if I wonder if um Yeah, it looks like they got up that way. Hmm. Maybe we will end up fighting the horde. I should have I should have taken the, more of those uh stairs out. Okay, well, um can we, can we do that? Yeah, we can reach this, okay. Yeah, I should have, I should have taken more of these stairs out. Okay, but we can though, here. Let's just keep working at it. This ought to make you feel better. Dang, man. Okay. <laughs> we got to get that last stair broken out. But they just they just keep coming. Here, have a pickaxe in the face. Fall down, please. Oh, you were supposed to fall down, man. 
Okay, now he's falling down. I'm trying to hit his head and he just keeps jerking all over the place. Okay. Keep working on it. I've got a bad feeling yeah, I got a bad feeling about this too. Roberta the robotic drone. Okay. Why does it keep double selecting on my toolbar? I was having a problem with that the other day, too. Okay. Almost got this done. Ow. Man, they just keep coming. Yeah, please help, Roberta. <laughs> I can't keep him clear long enough to get to the stupid stairs to break it. Come on, come on, get out of the way. That's just funny, man. I did not ex expect them to do this. See, I, I thought putting all that stuff there would make the AI think that's not a pathway, but obviously I was wrong. We're just going to have to, uh... Yeah, I'm preparing for conflict here. Okay, let's... Let's throw one down there. And try and get one down in through there. Okay, we almost have this broken. Okay, we got that broken. Now, let's work on this one. Because they're going to start... Trying to come up that way, I think. Well, this is exciting. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, man. Okay. Now, if we, if we leave the area, Hopefully, they won't think they can come up here any further. You know what else we're gonna do though? Um, let's bust, let's bust a hole through here too, again to break the, hopefully break the pathway. Well, actually, no, we should probably bust it here. I could use the auger for this, but I think it'll make too much noise. I don't want to. You know, excuse me, man. Uh, I don't want to alert the uh, the sleepers that are on this floor that we have to Master, contend with. We are not alone. Yes, we are not alone, Roberta. You are a smart robotic drone. So yeah, let's just break the pathway here too. Yeah, see, I I, I figured that the AI wouldn't wouldn't even consider that as a pathway because I had blocked, but apparently that is not the case. So let me get these stairs busted out, and then we'll proceed. Okay, so we've busted out two sets of stairs. Um, that definitely should break the AI pathing. Um, okay, so. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we had taken care of all that, but uh, obviously not. All right, let's check our weapons, make sure everybody's loaded here. Shotgun loader. I don't think we use little friend at all, so little friend should be fully loaded. We'll check the sniper too. Uh, let's get a full thing of uh, pipe bombs down here, and uh, we'll just put. I guess we'll put that in there. Uh, what I actually want to do with this is let's put non-stackable items in. Here, and we'll put stackable items in here. Master, we are not alone. Okay, uh, let's drink this, and uh, I'm not saving the jars. And let's also 
eat a couple of chicken rations, and then we should be good to go on food and food and drink. Not saving those either. Uh, okay. Let us proceed. So we were already in this room here. We had come out this way and uh, got surprised by Zombo. Uh, we want to use our crossbow as much as possible because it's quiet. And thankfully, you know, this is just a clear quest, so we don't, at least we don't have to worry about messing with, um, uh, you know, trying to find a satchel somewhere. Okay, that's probably going to be an ambush point there. Almost certainly it is. So what we might do, see if we can sneak over there. We, we're going to have to check the side rooms too, obviously, but is that, what material is that? It's whatever this stuff is here. Um, eight. My senses have picked up something. That's only 1,000 hit points. It's not very strong. Okay. What was that? Oh, that was the horde collapsing something down below. We need to keep an eye on the ceiling too, of course. All right, well let's um let's block this off here. And then uh we'll check the the rooms. That horde music is starting to get a little bit irritating because it's just the same thing over and over and over again. All right, not seeing any sleepies yet. Okay, so this room appears to be clear. Ooh, we got a big long office here. Okay, um, let's look at this bookcase before we proceed. Okay, we'll take some paper. They are collapsing stuff down there. Wouldn't that be something if this whole build they brought this whole building down? I would be impressed if that actually happened. Okay, we we've, we've got to be getting some action in this room. Um, maybe what we do here is. So we have to remember too that. They can get out. Uh, or they can jump up above the window thing. Hmm. <clears throat> Man, can I take that out without attracting attention? Master, we are not alone. What if we put that there? And then... Okay. Let's get rid of that too. What we gotta do is we gotta attract their attention. You just know there's gonna be an ambush in here. Um, I'm not seeing anything is the thing though. Oh, you know what? All right, you know what? I got to turn that music down, you guys. It's just driving me nuts. <laughs> uh, end game music volume. Okay, they could come through here too, huh? Dang. All right. Maybe what we ought to do instead of trying to block that huge area off is just kind of retreat maybe to here so we can get our back against the wall and then take them out that way. Or, actually, I have another idea. 
What if we... Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. What if we make a little area back here that we could retreat to and then pull up the blocks behind us? Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Let's also do something else to buy ourselves a couple of seconds um, so that we can get set up on our little bridge there. Um, where is this? Okay. So the idea is we alert the crowd, run back through that door, close it, jump onto our little bridge, and then deal with them as they come. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do it through here, too. Wake up, little Susies! No? Oh, crap. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing is ever easy. Whoa, that was weird. Hello, Zombos. I'm here. Come get me. Zombos. Oh, shit. Here we go. Man, everything is so laggy. How how many zombies did we alert? Wait, what? I saw it. I saw them, or I, I saw at least one chasing after us. What the heck? Did I not have a zombie chasing me? I don't see any red dots either. Is it just you? Oh man, we can take care of just you. Come at me, bruh. Okay. It's really hard to to hear stuff too because of all the racket that the horde's making. Zombos? Okay. We got a glowing Larry. See, we can handle a few at a time like this. We just can't handle 20 at a time. Where are you going, Larry? You're not dead. <laughs> Man, if I had a dime for every time that's happened to me in this game. Oh my goodness. Okay. Administering medical treatment. Thank you, Roberta. You are so useful. And you're a smart robotic drone, too. Whew. Okay. So, we ran through here. Um, so either that was just a smaller group or we didn't alert all of them. Let's check these uh, pictures here. I know I'm being a little more overly cautious than I normally would be, but... You know, after after seeing how things went down at the library bookstore with these tier fives, it's like I don't wanna I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die again. Okay, here's a bookcase. We'll take that. I'm not gonna check the desks. Okay. Now, uh, let's look at the ceiling. Okay, I think we're fine on the ceiling. Behind the desk.
There's an elevator shaft there. Master, we are not alone. Are you talking about the dudes down below or new dudes? You need to specify, Roberta. Human resources. All right, I think we're good in here. What are my frames right now? 24 frames per second. <laughs> this is bad, you guys. Oh my goodness. We'll make the best of it. That's all we can do, right? That's all we can do. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna have to do some parkour action in here to go up. And Lord help us if we fall down. Let's uh, check this room in here first, though, and the bathroom, too. There's some meds. Okay, we'll take that. Nobody back there. All right. This room's clear, and then this is the final room of this floor. Oh, yeah, I guess there's a room back that way, too. Mineral water? Nope, just murky. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. So this is just a back office here. Okay. All right, let's check the behind the pictures for safes. That actually wasn't that bad of a rush. I I was expecting worse than that. All right, did we get all the pictures in here, actually? I think we did. Okay. All right, so it is parkour time with 24 frames per second. What could possibly go wrong? Huh. So the first thing is, is can we... Make ourselves a safety floor here, just in case things go really bad for us. Okay. So let's walk around here. I guess we're supposed to get on that ladder, jump off to that ledge, and then walk around to that door. Um, all right, so if that's the case, we can't really put anything over there. I've got a bad feeling about this. The, the place that we're the most likely to fall is when we try and get off the ladder onto the ledge over there. So let's put these frames in here. Okay, and then um, I'll pick these back up because I think we'll be okay up to this point. Unfortunately, we can't put anything in there. So, Roberta, you need to move out of the way, please. Um, Roberta, you're right where I need to jump. Roberta, come over here. Come back over here. What is she doing? She's it, she <laughs> looks like she's trapped underneath my my things. Okay, let's try this again. Ah! Oh! Oh my goodness, that scared me. Okay, all the way up to the very top, and then sidestep and hug the wall. Okay. Let's go around this way. Go around this way. And I'm going to do this just so that we you know, don't get rushed as soon as we walk through the door cuz I can see the fun pimps doing that to us. 
Whew. Okay. Okay, okay. Get them down there. Oh, it's morning. All right, nice. Oh, that's not good. Wait a minute. You guys can climb the ladder? Uh, we might have a problem, Houston. This might be a little bit of a problem. Okay, let's come back over here. It's interest. Oh, you know what? They climbed the ladder. They climbed the ladder to get up to the f the third floor. They could have they could have gotten to us. I'm trying to hit the I'm trying to hit the um the the next ladder rung. Watch this though. Boom. Hey, this is maybe how we can kill these guys off, or at least most of them. It bounced off the thing there. Yeah, there we go. That was a good throw. 3,150. See, killing them off is good because then we get our frames back, obviously, right? Is he actually dead? Okay, so we didn't kill all of them off, but we got a big chunk of them out of the way. Uh, what's our frames now? Yeah, we're up to 32, 36, which is certainly better than 24. Okay, whew, what a deal, huh? <laughs> what a deal. All right, we got our new room here. So I'm just trying to think, how could we utilize the elevator shaft as a re place to retreat? Um, eh, I don't know. I don't know how we would do that. Can I... Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just proceed and make sure... Um, little friend is ready to go. Okay, here we go. And we'll maybe we can find a better place to barricade ourselves once we start getting through here. My senses have picked up something. Are there vultures in the elevator shaft? Oh, no, they're outside. Okay. Going to say, what in the world? I think we're supposed to go that way because that's where the lights are. Let's have this ready to go. Yeah, see, that's all bulletproof glass there. There's some ammunition. Anybody behind the counter here that we could snipe a doodle? Nope. So this, oh, this is one of those situations where it's quiet. It's too quiet, right? All right, let's go into the laboratory and make sure everything's clear in here. Everything's clear here. We'll check the other bathroom. In fact, that might be the way we have to get through here. I think it is. That's... Yeah, that's just a trash bag. I thought I saw a zombie leg next to it, but I don't think I did.
All right. Let's see what we got to do now. You know, they've made, uh, it seems to me like they're using a lot more of these glass window door thingamadoodles, which makes it harder to, to barricade stuff. Just trying to buy ourselves a little bit of time here if we, yeah, we can't put one there because of the elevator. Okay. All right, let's jump down. Okay, we're going to get rid of this stuff. I don't see anything loot worthy in here. So what we could do if we get a huge rush is we could run back through here and into the other restroom and close that door. Um, here, let's let's make sure we can block this. Yeah, okay, so what we can do is we can block that with some cobblestone uh, and make a stand. Okay, that's our plan. That is our plan. I still wouldn't mind trying to get some snipey snipes off if we can, though. He's outside, so we've got to worry about him. Sambo in here. Yes. Okay, so, um... Is it just you? Okay. Again, we can ha handle one at a time easily. I just don't want to get a, a massive bunch of them after us all at once. We might not have enough food to do all of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's drink both of these. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. I think I'm going to chuck the gunpowder too. It's not really doing us any good. Um, 44 buckshot. Hey, you know what? That's easily made. That's easily made. We don't need to carry that around. Oh, we don't need that either. Okay. Nobody in there. Ooh, we have some potential sniping opportunities. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Oh, man. We can't quite get to the head through there, though, can we? Uh, so that's a bummer. I want to switch those so I can quickly switch that with the eight key. Okay, we just got to get far enough over to reach her head. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That's a lot of zombies. Does this door close? <laughs> that buys me even a little, little bit more time. Okay. They're trying so they're trying to break through that other wall. Let's actually open that door so we can keep it in good shape. I 
I probably didn't need to close that other door because they would have been uh, momentarily obstructed by the, uh, you know, just having to kind of jump through that bathroom, the break in the wall in the bathroom there. Well, we can't stay here forever. Let's just wait a, a little bit longer and see if they, it sounds like they're starting to hit on that steel door. My senses have picked up something. Here they come. Okay. Come on, guys. I mean, I don't mind if y'all trickle in one at a time. That would be ideal, actually. But you got to come. Oh, look. They're walking around over there like... Doo -doo -doo. They're walking around like zombies. <laughs> okay, so they've actually... de us. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. How are you guys trying to get through here? Oh, you're trying to... They don't even see that as a way to get up here. Oh, how interesting. Okay. Then here's what we'll do. We'll help them out and take them out through here. That's very interesting. The one guy did get through, though. Hmm. I don't know. You know, for scientist zombies, you guys aren't very smart. Just saying. Get some head bashing going here. Head bashing and knee bashing. There's still one left with a leg off. Okay. Well, there you have it. <laughs> Man. All right, let's check the medical thingies. Ah! Okay. Okay, we got a splint and a recog. Uh, not taking any of that stuff. It's not something that's useful to us here and now. Uh, same with that. Mm. <laughs> I can't. I can't not take acid, you guys. It's just. It's the principle of the thing. You know what I'm saying? We we have to do it. Okay. So does that mean this entire floor is clear now? Probably not. Probably just this first section. This is like the server room. That leads into the elevator shaft. There's a, a popping pills there. Oh, an ammo crate in here. Okay. Ah, uh, no. How are we supposed to get in this room besides just breaking through? Is there a way up above that we would get into it? Oh, there's a safe in here, too. Hmm. I wonder if the if the if there's a way Are we supposed to go out along the ledge? Okay, cuz look, this window is How are we <laughs> How are we supposed to get around there though? Uh That's what they want us to do because look, there's an open window on that side too, but really? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, I could probably, you know, place blocks down and go around that way, but usually something like this, there there's a way to do it without, you know, using blocks. But I don't see how. I, I really don't. I don't see how that's even possible. Oh man, maybe this is just Maybe they're just trying to troll us. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna do this the easy way. <laughs> we're gonna do this the easy way. Uh, 
Okay, let's check the weapons bag. Um, very nice. Let's drink this. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, this is... I guess we'll scrap that. Okay, let's check the wall safe. Yeah, okay. Whatevs. I'm glad we didn't try and come through this way. I guess they're... Yeah, I guess they're just expecting you to put blocks down. I mean, there's no other way you could possibly do that. Huh. All right, we're hungry again. Food's going to be a problem, you guys. These uh, chicken rations are not going to sustain us for the whole rest of this ordeal here. But we'll keep on keeping on anyway. Sealed popping pills. Nope, 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 don't hit it again. One aloe. We didn't really need to do that, but whatever. Is there anything through there? All right. Well, we know we've definitely aggroed stuff. All right, there we go. There's a customer. Up to this point, right? Oh, there's a customer too. Ooh. Possible sniper opportunity. Incoming enemies. Prepare for conflict. Okay. There's some dude over there that's aggravated. Check all this stuff. Alright. If you guys... Oh, he's outside. He's outside, like, on a scaffolding or something. All right. Well, I don't mind uh, taking him out through here. <laughs> Over the edge with you. Okay, so that takes care of them. Let's continue on here. We got some pill cases. A normal bandage. We have another white in here. Nope, no whites in there. Some testosterone. Nice. Uh, Roberta, I've got more bandages for you. Okay, where are you at? All systems go. How may I help? Um, we can put other things in her inventory, too, can't we? I didn't think about that. Okay, yeah, let's put a, some of the more valuable things in her inventory just to free up some space in ours. Um, yeah, we can give her that. We don't really need that for anything. You know, glue is super easy to make. Let's keep the recog with us in case we decide we might need it for some reason. And uh, we don't need the plastic. And I guess she can hang on to this and this too. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, so that's where we're supposed to go. Okay. We have another office with stuff in it that, again, they're expecting us to 
go around that way. Not gonna happen. No sir, Bob. Let's break in. Okay. Weapons pile. Yeah, we'll definitely take that stuff. Ooh, wall safe. Nice. Structured brace mod. All right, is that all that's in here? Looks like it. All right, I just noticed something. And maybe you guys have noticed this earlier and you're like, oh, oh gee. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I had to stretch there. Um, apparently, it wants us to activate the rally point again. And the reason I think it's doing that is because I, I had to, to close down the game. Um, last time I was playing, Master, we are not alone. Um, I do not have enough time in real life to do a tier five all the way through. Uh, so I have to, you know, come back to it later. Uh, but apparently that resets quests. So two things. First, fun pimps. No, you, it's unreasonable of you to expect us to clear a tier five quest in one go. You've got to allow these quests to continue on with if we log out of the game and come back later. OK, so there's that. Uh, as if the fun pimps actually watch my videos. Uh, secondly, I have a, a possible workaround for this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to finish. We're going to finish the building. We're going to we're going to do it legit, and then we're going to go back down and activate the rally point again, and use an admin command to kill all the zombies so that we hopefully will get credit for it. And if it doesn't work, you know it's not the end of the world. It doesn't matter so much, but. It'd be nice to be able to get credit for it. Okay. So, anyway, let's uh, continue on here. Oh, man. Are any of these going to break? Oh, crap. I didn't think about that. Okay, good. Whew. Where's that bird? So, it looks like we have two more floors to go after this one. Wait a minute. Where do we go from here? Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking, man. Oh, man. Not going to lie. It's a little nerve-wracking. Okay. Are we supposed to go in here? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. And stay down. Okay. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is how we get to the next floor. And it is also where I'm going to go ahead and leave you for this episode. Uh, so, yeah, we will log out. And when we start the next episode, we'll continue on from here. And again, the plan is we're going to legit clear the place. Um, and then we'll go back down at the very end reactivate the rally point and then you know try and use the kill all command to see if we get credit for it and if we don't you know whatever um we still you know the quests rewards and stuff that are nice but by the time you get to tier five you usually are already pretty set and so the quest quest rewards are nice but not essential in my opinion so if we don't if we miss out on it it's not not a big deal uh, but anyway, yeah. So, guys, uh, I have to wrap things up here. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will continue this, of course, and finish out this tier five. And um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll try and get, you know, get to it, uh, back to it as, as soon as possible. I just got a lot of other things going on too. Um, and but we'll get it done. And then the plan, like I've said all along, is to start Undead Legacy afterwards. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share with the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.